okay guys in this tutorial i will show you how to remove this background and also how to make this fire effect so without wasting your time let's begin the tutorial Step 1 importing footage and trimming the timeline. Double click on the empty layer and then select your footage and drag it on the composition icon. Now we will trim the footage. Click and drag the current time indicator. Click on the work area start which looks like blue icon and drag it to the current time indicator. And also do the same. Select work area end and drag it where the timeline indicator is. So go to composition, select trim comp to work area. This way your footage will be trimmed. Now we have our trimmed footage to work with. Step 2. Removing unwanted objects from the green screen footage like any obstacles or any object outside the green screen will be masked out to key out the green color properly. Select the pen tool and mark the area you want to work with. Note that there shouldn't be any shadow on the green screen so light your green screen and your subject properly. Step 3. Key out the green background. So go to effect and type in key and you will see some option with the name key like key in blue blur, key in green blur. Below that you will find key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. Select that and drag it on the green screen layer. Now select eyedropper tool and click on the green area. Now change the view mode to screen matte. Under the screen matte tab you will find clip back and clip white option. Your work is to make the black area pure black and the white area pure white. So change the clip black and clip white value unless you get solid black and white matte. Now change the view mode to intermediate result. You can see green border or green light reflecting on the edge of my face and body. It's very easy to deal with under key cleaner. Check the box next to reduce chatter. And below that switch on the fx of advanced spill suppressor step 4 add a new background double click on the empty space to import file navigate to your image which you will use as a background import your file and then drag and drop it on the timeline place it below the subject adjust the image to fit it on the background you might need to scale it so press s to scale adjust the image so that it matches the perspective and looks realistic. Step 5. Adding Muzzle Flash Effect Drag and drop your Muzzle Flash video into the timeline. It should be on a black background if you couldn't find any transparent Muzzle Flash Effect online. You can also use Muzzle Flash image on a black background. It doesn't have to be a video. Now move the timeline indicator where the gun is fired. Select Muzzle Flash layer and drag it at the gun point. Also make sure that the image or video of the muzzle flash is not more than 2 frames. Step 6 adding heat distortion effect for realism. Create an adjustment layer from the layer panel and select ellipse tool to mask out the area. We will use heat distortion effect only around the gun point. Make sure you select the adjustment layer and then select the ellipse tool or else you will end up with the shapes instead of mask. Now in the effect and preset panel, type in turbulent displays. Just type tar and you will find the option below. Drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. Change the amount to 79 and size to 12. Step 7. Adding easy color grading to match the background. Select your background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D. And rename your layer to color grade. Change the mode to soft light. Now copy your green screen footage. Here the name shows DJI because I did not change the name. I shot the video with DJI gimbal. Now place the green screen layer above color grade layer. Change the track matte to alpha matte. You can blur the image for better result. And the final editing looks like this. 